All right, so we've talked about a lot of other microscopes at this point, light, SEM. So I want us to take a second and kind of compare uh, TEM to those other types so that we can see similarities and differences. So the first one I want to draw your attention to is this uh, schematic here, which shows the optical path. And you saw you you might remember we draw we drew some of these for light microscopy. And that's what you see here. Um, and I want to compare that to TEM. So with light microscopy, we have the the light source, the condenser, which focuses it on the uh, sample, uh, and then the objective lens and the eyepiece, uh, which go to to then the, the eye and we get a magnified uh, image. And so you kind of, those are all the basic pieces kind of simplified. And this is in transmission mode. So it's similar to transmission electron microscopy. Well, in TEM, we see that the structure is actually very similar. We have the electron gun. We talked about this with SEM, but it produces our um, wave or electron or particles, our beam. Um, and that's all part of the, the accelerated part of that as well. Then we have lenses, which focus the sample on, or sorry, which focus the beam on the, the specimen. And then we have an objective intermediate and we have various lenses, but their function are basically to magnify the image and project it onto a screen similar to, uh, to your eye. And so really the, the structure of the lenses the, these being electromagnetic lenses is different. The structure of the light source or electron gun is different, but the optical path is actually very similar uh, in this. And so uh, there won't be, there's obviously modifications and, and uh, differences, but they are fairly similar to start with. But again, the, the components are quite different as you would uh, imagine. So starting with the kind of requirements uh, that we have of the specimen, sorry about that. Um, we have a, um, you know, we typically, for transmission and light microscopy, we typically want um, a, a thin section, but we're talking thin as in less than 100 microns. Here for TEM, we need less than 200 nanometers. And so the uh, specimen preparation is a lot more difficult. Best resolution we you know can probably hope for in light microscopy is about 200 nanometers. And again, we just saw with TEM, we're talking 0.2 or even lower uh, nanometers than, uh, than that. So that means the magnification is only about 2000 for light and upwards of a million for transmission electron microscopy. And our source of illumination is light compared to electrons. Uh, the lenses are made out of glass and electromagnetic lenses, so forth. You know, we have uh, typically our operation is just in air or liquid, whereas um, we need high vacuum for TEM. And then the, uh, the last difference, Obviously, with light mic microscopes, you can either do this by eye or uh, on a camera. We can also do a camera on TEM, but there's also this uh, phosphorescent plate that we tend to view if we're not using the, uh, the camera. So um, here I just want to kind of go through some of the components that we talked about for SEM. Again, very similar. So electron gun, the same types. We can have a thermionic gun, uh, which could be... Um, tungsten or uh, lab six, um, that will affect the brightness and so forth. Um, and we can also have the field emission guns, and that's what a lot of the new uh, guns are, are going to. Uh, the electromagnetic lenses that we talked about in SEM are the same here. Um, so their goal is to uh, cause these electrons to spiral closer to the axis uh, as they go down towards the, uh, the specimen. So all of those lenses are composed similarly to SEM. All right, so this is the, the last part. This is the, the phosphorus, uh, phosphorus green. And so if you look at the TEM, this is a kind of a uh, limited picture of it, but um, all of this assembly up here is part of the lens and the electron gun. And then down here, it's projected. Um, this, the samples also up here. Uh, and so this is after the sample. This is the magnified image, and it's being magnified onto this uh, phosphorescent plate. Um, and so this plate is actually embedded with um, 
zinc, sol uh, zinc sulfide particles, which basically become phosphorescent when they're hit by electrons. And so that allows us to actually see an image on this little green plate down here. So that's kind of the, instead of viewing it with our eyes, we're actually looking at this phosphorescent plate, which the image is projected to. Uh, again, all modern TEMs are going to have uh, cameras and so forth, so just like your light microscope. So that's the predominant way you're taking pictures, but for just quick visuals, you can use this plate here. So that's uh, really the, the big difference in the end of the light path.